Hello everybody, it is Tim, and I'm going to be showing you guys another video on the most necessary apps you'll need for your computer. Um, that's not what it's actually called, but something similar to that up top on the label. So here we go. The first app we're going to be going over is called Disk Inventory X, or we can also use another app called Grand Perspective. These apps are very similar in what they do. Basically what it does is, um, let me go to the website over here. Um, it sh basically it scans your computer. And once it scans your computer, it shows something like this, very similar to this, or it is this, actually. And you click on one of the boxes, and each box represents a file on your computer. And the bigger the box, the higher the gigabytes or the megabytes of space it takes. And you just click on it, and if you don't want it anymore, you delete it. And I mean, this is not just for, I mean, deleting your computer. I said I mean twice already, three times, actually. So, um, basically what it is... For example, if you have only 96 gigabytes of space because you split your split your hard drive and you only have 160 gigs total, which is really low for me, um, I'm constantly running low on space. 19 gigabytes is not that much, especially when you keep downloading and installing and recording videos. Um, it's not that much at all. So, um, what helps me get rid of stuff without you know getting rid of important things that I need is this app. Because so, what it does is it makes you locate apps very easily that are big and taking up a lot of space on your computer. And you can um, easily locate them and delete them. So that's Grand, sorry, not Grand Perspective, or Grand Perspective, yes. This is this uh, Inventory X, and then there's Grand Perspective as well. If you want to download one for Windows, you can also download something called Space Sniffer. Um, that's about it for those apps. Next app we go. Next one is called Dropbox. You guys may have heard of Dropbox. Um, it's pretty simple to use you install it it's kind of like a online USB drive it's a 2 gigabyte USB drive basically that they give to you for free and once you install it you can get more space if you want and you can also invite friends to get more I have up to 2.8 gigs right now you can get up all the way to 16 gigs of free space if you invite a lot of people and install on other devices as well so you can install on your iPhone your iPad your Mac your Windows whatever you want I think it works Maybe not on Windows. I'm not sure. Maybe I think maybe it does work on Windows. Don't ask me. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just making a Mac video right now. And I know it works on Mac. So you, if you guys want to open up the Dropbox folder, it's on your computer. Um, you can drag files into it, and it'll show up on your other computer you have it on, as long as your account is on the other computer. So your account is basically your USB drive, and it's really it really works really well. Um, you could type a document on your iPhone or iPad, and it saves to your uh, Dropbox if you have that setting enabled for some apps. So that's Dropbox. Another one is actually pretty similar to Dropbox called uh, Cloud or Cloud App. Cloud, it's on the App Store if you want it. Basically what it does is whenever you take a screenshot or it's very, uh, this is mainly just for quick use. It's not an app that you'll need all the time, um, but it's really handy. Um, it's not like a very necessary app. I'm just putting it in there. I wasn't planning on putting this app in, but I saw it. I might as well put it in. So Cloud App, what it does is let's say you're on a game or something. And you want to take a quick picture and show someone. You just go to your whatever your screenshot, you know, shift, command, and four. You push it, you go like this, you want to take a picture of it, and you take a picture of your screen, and it automatically I have a setting enabled to upload it to the cloud website. So what it does is it uploads it to the cloud, and you click on it, um, and it works perfectly fine. I mean, this is a screenshot I just took right now. It should show up, there we go. And you can basically uh, click this, copy the link, and send it to them. It's kind of like uh, Image Shack or um, some kind of website like that where you can just quickly take a picture of something and show it to them. You can also upload things to it by right clicking on them and pushing upload with Cloud App. Um, it works with pictures, documents, um, all kinds of things. So it's a really useful, uh, handy app, Cloud. Free, I think. Maybe not free. Uh, I will get back to that. I'll put a little annotation saying if it's free or not. Maybe like 99 cents or something. I'm not sure. So whatever. Let's go to the next step. The next step is called it's not really an app actually, it's a um plugin. So this plugin is called Perian or Perian, whatever you want to say. It's a system preference pane. Um what it does is it allows you to play almost every movie file that you could think of, maybe not every movie file, but a lot of movie files um on QuickTime X and QuickTime Player 7. Great plugin, helps a ton for using QuickTime because you can't play AVI on QuickTime, you can't play FLV on QuickTime, you can't play a lot of different formats on QuickTime. But this allows you to play it, and it's really great. Um, so yeah, it's called Parian. Another one is called, um, if you want to play, the, what am I saying? If you want to play uh, 
WMV files. You could download an app called um, Flip for Mac uh, WMV Player. That looks kind of like this. Um, that's that. Flip for Mac. Next one. That's about it, I think. I don't think I have any more apps to show for this video. But um, those are the apps that I think are pretty good apps. They're, um, some of them are necessary to a certain extent. Um, you may not always need to be using Disk Inventory X or Grand Perspective. Dropbox is a handy app you'll may, you may need if you don't have a USB drive or you forgot it. You can just put it on that and it works perfectly fine. Um, Parian for QuickTime and WMV Player. And that's about it, guys. Um, also, Cloud App. I forgot to mention that. Um, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys have a good day, good night, whatever it is. Um, make sure to like, comment um, if you want. Say something that you guys want. Maybe um, some suggestions for me. How to improve. Comment, please. Tell me how to... What, what you guys want me to do. Tell me exactly what kind of videos. If you guys have an app you want me to uh, give a review on or something, tell me by all means I'll do it. If you guys really think it's a good app, I'll definitely make a video on it. Um, so yeah, that's basically that. Make sure if you want um, to be kept up uh, up to date with my videos, um, subscribe to my channel. I make All the videos I make are trying to help you guys in the most possible way instead of putting up random stuff on YouTube. Um, like other a lot of other people, I'm just, I'm putting things that will really help you in your on your MacBook or your Mac, um, iMac or whatever anything you have that's I'm making. It will help if you guys download it. I'm not just making you guys download random stuff to get views on my YouTube. I really do uh, care about YouTube and what I make you guys download. They're great apps. They're um, most of them I think are free, and I mean they're good apps. That's all I can say. So go ahead and download them if you don't like them. Uh, I don't know what to say, but I think that they are pretty useful apps. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, next time I guess you, I'll probably make another video similar to this, or I may make a, another app video. So stay tuned for that. And um, that's about it. I'll see you guys later. Comment, subscribe, whatever, like, all that stuff. And uh, that's about it. Bye.